really crazy. But um, what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Belandis. And right now, it is very, very, very bright outside. But later on tonight, we are going to be going out and taking some film photos without a light meter. That is the catch. First of all, I've never taken photos on my Mamiya camera at night ever like long exposure ever so that's going to be something new as y'all know i don't use a light meter for my photography for my film photography because of over the years of gaining the knowledge to be able to shoot without one um sometimes i'm in situations where i don't and i can't waste time using a light meter so i have to go based on my knowledge so anyway um i remember i said i didn't use a light meter for my film photography and somebody was like well until you do it at night i don't want to hear it and i was like ah I don't really shoot at night, but here we are. So that's what we're doing today. We're, we're gonna wait for it to get dark outside today. Then we're gonna go out. It's also very, very cold outside. It's like 15 degrees, but hey, what better time to do it than now, right? <laughs> but anyway, man, um, I guess I will see y'all when it get dark. Um, we're gonna be outside shooting some nighttime photos without a light meter. I guess I'll go through some tips and kind of just walk y'all through my kind of thought process and what I'm thinking while I'm out there, just so y'all can have a, I guess, idea of what I'm thinking and what I'm going through while taking these photos. So yes, see y'all when it gets dark. It's actually like three o'clock. So I'll see y'all in like three hours when it gets dark. I also forgot to mention that we're also in the living room filming this video today because um, as y'all know, if you watched the last video, if you didn't watch the last video, go watch the last video. It's about somebody photographing, well, getting my photograph tattooed in their head, which is crazy. But um, in that video, we did talk about the office change because we're changing um, out the, I'm no longer gonna be doing videos in my room anymore. We're gonna be doing it in um, setting up this office so we can kind of separate my my work life from my home life if that makes sense but um, in that room it's a huge echo right now and until we get that fixed I can't film in there so right now we're filming in the living room until we get that fixed but um, very soon very very soon just bear with me we're out here it's actually not even late it's like five o'clock but you know winter time so it's definitely uh, dark outside. As y'all all know, y'all have seen this spot before. I've been here plenty of times. Whatever, sue me. I like this spot. It looks good. The good thing about being a photographer though is that you could go to a spot more than once and um, you can always get like a new photo from it. You ever went somewhere and then like next time you went back and it was like different? That ever happened to you? No? Okay, cool. We're here with the RZ67 this time and also no light meter. I'm actually kind of like, um, I'm not gonna say terrified, but I'm kind of like nervous because I've never shot at night without a light meter. So I'm sure it's gonna be a different story. Why, why are you zooming down to my pants? Cause I wear them in every video. Ah, niggas gonna start flaming me now in the comments. Oh, you, ever, <laughs> you know the Soulja Boy meme? <laughs> That's me right now. <laughs> Don't want this to be too like taller than me. I, I still I need to see down in it. <laughs> We got to make the tripod at least go to five, four. This is why I don't like taking pictures at night, though, or like any of the extra stuff. Because now I got a tripod with me. Like, it's a lot of setup. It's a lot of things going on. I have film in this hand, film in this hand. I'm going to mix it up. You pick which hand. Just, I don't even know where you're I know. Initially. Me neither. <laughs> so... It's gonna be a guess. We're either shooting with Portrait 800 or Cinestill 800. It's up to you. Pick. Right, right hand? Yeah. So this hand? Cinestill. You got a bachelor's degree. You ever make an educated guess in your field? Yeah. These are gonna be educated guesses, but I will walk y'all through my thought process and why I'm doing the things that I am doing. I am shooting with a Pro Mist filter. It is uh, half half uh, stops, fullness, or whatever it is, is one over two of a pro mist. So half. This is what we got. I like this composition too. I'm gonna also shoot this on the, um, the 50 mil, which is 25. We're gonna be shooting at an eighth, and then we're also gonna shoot at a 15th because I am playing around with some stuff, and then it's at 2.8. And yeah, we got the promised on. 
as always and yeah that's the shot but anyway let's take it real quick all right one and a two and a oh light meters in there hold on i mean not the light meter the um dark slot all right now are you ready all right and a one and a two and a and a bus i might i might get that bus oh yeah i'm gonna get that bus this i'm gonna shoot jumbo's bar at like f8 and if my calculations <laughs> my calculations if they're correct then i will just drop it down because i was shooting at like a 15th at 2.8 if i go to f8 then uh, eight. one second four two one second I believe so. So, yes. We're gonna shoot at one second at Jumbo's bar. There's some light spilling on from right there too. See, all of this stuff be mattering too, but you wouldn't necessarily really think it did. All right, corner of a building photo coming real soon. In three, hold on, wait, shaking. In three, two, one. I'm gonna shoot this at the same thing, even though I think there's a little bit more light over here. Maybe I, I can shoot it at it's two instead of one. At F8, yeah, here, let's keep that. All right. Uh, should I go back down to one? I'm gonna keep it at two. This is a lot of light, which is probably definitely gonna be a lot brighter than that light over there, as you can see. So we're gonna probably go up. What I'm trying to expose for though is over there. So I'm exposed for that and not this, but this light might leak and spill into like the photo. I don't know, probably uh, two, let's see, one, two. So as you can see, we are back and it's still dark outside. I was gonna wait till the morning to record this part, but I developed and scanned the photos already and I took a look at them. And to be honest, I'm very proud of how these photos came out. It was um, a learning experience and something different that I never tried before. It was cool to step out of my comfort zone just a little bit and shoot something that I don't normally shoot at a time uh, in lighting that I don't normally shoot in and kind of just use all the things that I've learned through photography and about photography over the past couple of years um, to take these photos and do so without a light meter. Now, by no means do I think I'm better than anybody because I didn't use a light meter nor, nor am I advocating for people to not use light meters. It's just something, um, it just helps my process and it's the way I go about taking photos. But I was very happy with the bus photo. That photo was very good. I was also very happy with the um, Jumbo's bar photo because if I'm being completely honest, I did just guess and I had no idea how um, that photo was gonna turn out. I really thought it was gonna be a little underexposed to be completely honest, but it came out perfectly exposed and I was very surprised. Other than that, I do kind of like the Cinestill pictures a little bit better, but I think they worked out a little bit more for up under the little bridge, little colorful bridge type of thing, more than like the Portrait 800 would have. So I am happy that I used that there. Then I just used the Portrait 800 for um, other things while I was just driving around and stuff like that. There were some instances though, like this um, 
photo of the gate with the light kind of behind it, like kind of illuminating the door. That lighting is very, very, very tricky to like kind of comprehend because it's very, very dark in front, like where I'm facing on the other side of the gate. And then there's a lot of light just coming in from the light above the door. But it's very it, it depends on like what kind of story i guess you're trying to tell or like what you're going for because either you're going to have to expose for that light which i did or you're going to have to um expose for that dark ass um fence which the fence being dark makes more sense in my opinion for this photo so that's kind of what i that's kind of how i looked at it when i was exposing for it i know i don't normally get out and shoot photos at night on this channel and a lot of people have been asking me to so yeah it was a test and it was definitely a challenge and it was different I definitely shot photos at night before but I've always had a light meter and I've always I either shot it on digital or um, I had a camera with a light meter in it so it de definitely wasn't an issue this time I was like <laughs> in the dark <laughs> I had to, I guess, actually think about things because usually when I go out, I kind of just get so used to things. I already know what I want and kind of know what kind of settings to use and stuff like that. But this time I actually had to think and actually had to use my brain and slow down. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope it helped y'all just a little bit or anything. But um, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, you already did what you had to do, so I am not talking to you. Um, this is the new room, by the way. As we go on and as we um, make more videos, you will tend to see more things come in this room. Like there's going to be a couch. There's going to be some photos on the wall. There's going to be some photos on this wall. There's going to be maybe a plant. So we're just going to um, build it up day by day. Um, but yeah, this is the new room. Hope you guys like it and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. But other than that, we about to get out of here, um, eat, and then sit on the couch, finish the mentalist, and then we're gonna go do some shit. So you know the vibes. Mm -hmm.